our show. Everything that you're going to see tonight, every last bit of what we do is improvised. Nothing is planned out ahead of time, not one word. You're going to get to see all kinds of scenes here on the stage based on our audience suggestion. You're going to get to see clips of what we do on the street, messing with the public. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome out for this first scene, Mr. Phil Cater and Sarah Baker. Here they come. Give them a little sugar. All right, y'all, climb on up here. Climb on up here. Ladies and gentlemen, these are two long-time companions. They've been together for a long, long time. What we need is two reasons why she doesn't love him like she used to. He had a sex change. He had a sex change, all right? That's fair enough. That would be one reason. It was not. <laughs> sex change and it didn't go well. Very good, didn't go well. Sex change and it did not go very well. Now, how many of you, ladies and gentlemen, were able to give suggestions to our helper out in the audience out here? Well, thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to use your suggestions of different types of emotions, different types of feeling, and we'll be changing the actor's feelings from time to time. This is the game. Give him a little sugar. Thanks for being here tonight. Here we go. Hi. Hi. I brought you flowers, but you already got some. Oh, well, thanks. Are they from Lucy? Yes. Yeah. Can I just talk to you for a few minutes? Phil, we've already talked. I, I don't want to see you anymore. You can still anymore. call I asked me you Phyllis, come... okay? You can still call me Phyllis. Phil. I am still the same person inside, Phil, Sarah. you're not Phyllis anymore. Well, I mean, I, I love you, the person inside, but... You're not attractive to me anymore. You've got a thing. Well, it, 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 Sarah, it doesn't work. Oh. Well, tragic, tragic. It's a, it's a monstrosity. It doesn't even look like what it's supposed to look like. It looks like one of those party favors you blow out and it rolls back up. Oh, Ashamed. Why'd you get it? I don't know. I wanted to give you a baby. That's all I wanted. I wanted to be able to give you a baby. Well, sweetheart, I, I want a baby, but... Nauseous. I don't think I can do what you have to do to get one. <laughs> don't don't, breathe, don't break up with me. I've had these physical reactions don't. all night long. I haven't been able to... I won't. Don't. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, that's better. It's what going do you away. mean, don't break up with you, Phil? We already broke up. I broke up with you last night. Best I... friends. No, you didn't. <laughs> Forget about it, huh? <laughs> and break up with me, that little Phil, old me. Yes, oh, I did. Yeah. I sure did. I know, you're playing one of those psych games. It was reverse day yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> no. Yeah, it was reverse day. Phil, so, let's, just, let's just go to the movies or something. Forget about this whole relationship Sassy. thing. The movies? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to get a sex change so I could spend the rest of my life raising a family with you, and you want to go to the movies. Well, OK. <laughs> Listen, girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever oh, I should low. call you. That well, was low. It's totally true, okay? Rude. You're Look. a disgusting human being. You're not a man, you're not a woman, you're just a something yucky. Horny. <laughs> Horny. Look, does, I, I wore the boy outfit, okay? I just want you to look inside of yourself and see if maybe a man might be what you want. Even a broken man. A DMS. Man doesn't work. Ah! <gasps> I know I'm bloated. You don't have to exaggerate. It. Oh! <laughs> oh! They didn't do the right job with my plumbing. It's still there. No. <gasps> All right.
here we go. Great day. Oh. Here we go. All right, do I have everything I need? Time check. Right on time. I'm gonna have to find the perfect spot in the park today because it's a beautiful day, but it's gonna be hot, and those guys are gonna be sweating, and they're gonna need some extra encouragement to get up the hill, get up the stairs, to keep going. Because, you know, if I'm out there today, nobody's, nobody's stopping on my shift. Now, I may not look like a coach, you know, but I dress like one. So, you know, that's enough right there. Oh, yeah. I see your water bottle isn't with you. You should always keep it up. It's Coach Michael. Thanks. Good job. You need a sponge? Yo, I've got water. You got, and I'm, I'm, I'm timing laps. Hey, if you keep that walk band lower, it'll give you a little extra right here. You know, it's a double workout. Go! Go! Coach Michael, come on, ladies. Good driving. You're doing a great job. Hey! in somebody's eye of inspiration to push hard, to push harder, and I know that I gave it to them. That's like the greatest gift you can give anybody. Yes! Woo! B E A G G R E S S I V E B. Aggressive. Go! It's Coach Michael. Coach Michael. Uh, what we need to do here, guys, is we, is, 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 is we need to make sure. We need to make sure that these guys over here know we mean business. <laughs> All right, man. Show them the tsunami! Come on, boys, come on! All right, come on here, see? Come on, come on! Yes! Yeah, well, this is it! Hey, she comes the United States of America! It's great knowing that you have helped somebody else. You should try it sometime. I recommend it to everybody. A coach's job is tough. You're not the star. You're the one who's the supporter. I'm an athletic supporter. <laughs> Being a coach, there's nothing like it. Nothing. Take a look at this cute old couple here, ladies and gentlemen. Older, we should say. This is actually a bit of a sad scene. You see, they were out tonight and something happened that made them realize for the first time in their lives that they felt old. They felt that they were old for the first time. What happened to make these people feel old? They couldn't dance at Tongue and Groove. They were unable to dance at the local Buckhead bar called Tongue and Groove. Ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna get to see this scene the way that it is, nice and normal. And afterwards, we're gonna come back and we're gonna have them do the same scene. But you get to direct them the second time. You get to tell them what to do and how to be. So keep your thinking caps on, keep your eyes glued, give them a little encouragement. Thank you very much. It's all right. I tried very hard. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You look at me. Look at me, huh? No. Honey. They all laugh at me. No, Tram. Tram, you look at me. They weren't laughing at you. They were just a bunch of ignorant kids, huh? <laughs> Who needs that groove and tongue place, huh? We, we don't they were so pretty. Ah. They had nice suit. Ah. The girl was so well up to it. Ah. I wanted to impress you to show you I am good still. <laughs> but I'm not good. Honey, come on. Come I on. tried and I broke my hip. I know. 
You, you didn't break it. You just bruised it. It no, no, felt no. like I broke it. I know it, did. honey. Come on. Everyone stopped. They turned the light on. Honey, <laughs> Tram, listen to me now. It's all right. We don't need that place to dance anyway, huh? Mm, I'm going to take lessons. I learned how to dance like this. I promise. Then we go back and show them. That's right. Damn it. That's right. <laughs> Oh, I dress, take off my dress. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. uh, you just pull this over? Mm -hmm. oh, uh, of course, uh -huh. every time I tell you, same thing, you always I forget, know. this is my I dance dress. I know, it. I know, it's a hat. The hat's throwing me off tonight. Oh, fine, I take it off. You're looking sparkly there. I thought it was very hip, and it's uh, not. Oh, no yeah. one wear it. No. no one had the same hat on like me, no. I thought they would. No, no, you're one of a kind, you're ahead of your time, hon. You were fooling me. No. Here. You are lying to me. I hate you. No. <laughs> All right, you're not helping me any I'm longer. All right. <laughs> Got it. All the hip hop dance clubs. Those kids, you know, they're wearing those big pants and their Fubi t shirts and their, <laughs> their mm. Izods and their polos. Mm. Crazy. I get in bed, I forget about it tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rub that hip. Come here, come here, come here. Let me rub that hip. How's that feel? Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> I still got it in me, don't I? Stop it. Huh? Huh? Come on. Stop it. You know what? Let's dance. Let's you and I dance. We don't need the tongue in the groove. We'll just mm -hmm. dance right here. I need the tongue, I think. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, you saw the scene. We're going to get to see the scene again. Now, how should they be this time? Let's direct the scene. Anybody? Backwards. More redneck. More redneck. Very good. More redneck. Is there anything in specific that you'd like to see them do? They're really horny. Dance. Okay. We're going to see them dance a little. They're really horny, and they're rednecks. All right. Very good. Give yourself some sugar. Give it up. Let's see it again. Here we go. <laughs> hey, damn, baby. <laughs> you go, you go, you go, girl. You go, what, what? You go to me, what? Give what? me a whoop, whoop. Look, give me a ho, ho. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Mm. Woo. Oh, yeah. Get to my <laughs> them damn kids. You know what? Get up and take out my dress. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. What I like, I guess, the most about magic is, 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 you know, seeing the sheer enjoyment of the person who just got fooled, you know, by the sleight of hand or the trick of the eye. Do you believe in magic? Good, because you're about to see some magic. All right, what I want you to do is I just want you to pick a card, any card. Any card at all. All right, cool, and I'll show it to the camera. And now I want you to put that card in your back pocket. Yeah. I want you to pick another card. I want you to put that in your front pocket. Yeah, show it to the camera. Put it in your front pocket, Graham. All right, now I want you to pick out one more card. All right? And I want you to put that in your other back pocket after you show it to the camera. Okay, cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to just watch me shuffle the deck here. Make sure that my hands aren't coming anywhere near you. You remember the cards that were in your pockets, right? All right, now all I want you to do is I want you to touch my finger. I'm going to show you the move here. Okay, that's the move. Now take out the cards out of your pocket. All of them.
show the camera. Are those the cards that you put in your pocket? Magic is scary, but I can understand them because magic does make us question our own reality. It makes the seemingly impossible possible right in front of our eyes. It makes us feel a little ignorant, but at the same time, all too human. It's magic. Welcome Jim Isa, Lauren Tarquinio, Mr. Lance Crawl. Here they come for your pleasure. <laughs> Climb on up here, guys. Climb on up here. It is Sunday afternoon. These three guys are hanging out on a Sunday afternoon. They have come home here to find their wives are either gone or taken away. Only a note is left. What does it say? Went fishing. So went fishing. All the wives have gone fishing. Okay. Now why? What what makes this note just a little scary? It starts off Dear John. It starts off what? Dear John. Ah, Dear John. It's a Dear John letter. It says gone fishing, which may mean she might not be coming back. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, it's just a scene, a simple scene. They've got to improvise through. But we're going to add one rule. This is the sit, stand, lean rule. At all times, one actor. <laughs> one actor must be sitting, one must be standing, and one must be leaning. If one is to change, the others must immediately accommodate to maintain the correct combination of sit, stand, lean. Give them a little sugar. Let's see what happens here. That doesn't make much sense. It's Jim. You know? Gone fishing's a metaphor for gone fishing. <laughs> Wait a second. You're not saying that they're back. not fishing? They're not fishing, Lance. Hold on just one second. Now, my wife has never cared much for fishing. <laughs> my wife doesn't even know how to fish. My wife can't even identify a fish on a map. A fish. <laughs> Wait a second. You're saying that there's a double meaning to fishing? I'm saying they're not coming back, Lance. <laughs> Look at Wait that. a second. Why, why, no, 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 right no, 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 there. Look at that handwriting. It's all like scribbly, like kind of. Like they retarded I can't even look at it. Oh my God. <laughs> this is freaking me out. Okay, calm down. Why would they leave? I don't understand. I don't know. My wife was perfectly happy this morning. How about yours? <laughs> Thanks. We had a little bit of an argument. Dogs, right? 
<laughs> Guys! And you know what she did? She called my wife, and then she called your wife. No, no, right. no, no, it's... What? <laughs> I have a... I have a uh, confession. What are you talking about? I didn't think she would take it seriously, okay? What? Look here, what? I know. <laughs> Last night, me and Marge, we... We fought, like we always fight. Okay. It came to blows. Jesus Christ, Lance, I don't know. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I told her as sort of a joke to leave and take her two friends. Why would you do that, Lance? What are you crazy? Hey, 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 hey